Hello, House of the Prayer family. This is Sharon. And I found um, Julie Weeby has put this out on Saturday the 26th. Behold, I come. Revelation 22, 12. Behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. What has remained hidden is about to be revealed. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all its inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. And that's Psalms 33, 8. Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary, who is great a God as our God. Psalms 77, 13. And Julie wrote this part. As we draw to a close of the ten days of awe and prepare for Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement, my heart is overjoyed to bring you Yeshua's word of encouragement. I've heard the sound of the shofar for hours uninterrupted at the feast of Yom Yashu Shahana, and the angelic choirs singing high praises to our King Yeshua during this high watch time. He told me several years ago we would know how close he was because our spirits would be leaping. Can you sense the lateness of the hour and the thundering approach of our Messiah and Bridegroom? His Spirit is telling us he is coming for us. Prepare your hearts and be ready to receive the King, Julie. Now this is the message that God gave her. I am Jehovah Makedesh, the Lord your sanctifier. I am Jehovah Tishikni, the Lord your righteousness. I am El Roy, the strong one, who sees you and knows you. And Elohim, the everlasting and eternal one. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble with the names. Mimi, Nini, Tickle, Assurance. I am coming out of my place to tread down the high places of the earth. The mountains will melt under me and the valleys will split apart. I am now planning a disaster on the nation, USA, and you cannot free your necks from it. Then you will not be so haughty. It has already begun. I have begun to strike you severely, bringing desolation because of your sins. The kingdoms of this world would have become my kingdoms, and I would reign forever and ever fear me and give me the glory worship me that gave heaven earth the sea and the fountains of water for the hour of judgment has come i will pour out my anger on the unrighteous and the kingdoms that refuse to call upon my name i have given them over to their stubbornness of their lusts and they will fall by the way of their own counsel. The time is come that judgment must begin in my house. And if it begins here first, what will become of those who do not obey me? You who are humble shall see this and be glad. For you will seek me first, will live with me eternally, enter into your chambers and be silent before the Lord. For I am raised up out of my holy habitation. I now cause judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth will feel fear and be still 
as I saw all the meek of the earth, my righteous ones, the jewels in my crown, I have commanded you, my sanctified and my mighty ones, for my anger, you that rejoice in my highness. I have raised you up for this purpose, so my power will be manifested through you, and you will declare my name in all the earth. You will open your mouth and reveal things from the beginning that I have taught you in the secret place. All will know that I am the most high Jehovah above all the earth. My daughter, my beloved, I am closer to you than your next breath, for I hold your tears in my bottle. Do not become anxious and overwhelmed by the appearance of the evil, the great evil. I am here to comfort you and encourage you. I am here, I am here, and I am coming to you who have not defiled your garments. So very soon you will walk with me in white, for you are worthy. I will preserve the soul of my saints and deliver you from the hand of the wicked. You will pass through the valley of Baca, weeping, and springs will appear. The early rains will clothe it with blessings. You will go from strength to strength until you appear before me in Zion. I look with favor on the face of my anointed ones. The Lord will record in the registers of the nations, This one was born in Zion. The daughters of Zion hear and rejoice because of my judgments. I will make the lame my remnant, and she that was cast off a strong nation, and I will reign over them forevermore. For you, my remnant, are my children of Zion, and I will dwell in the midst of you. You are my redeemed, and you will come with singing unto my holy mountain. Everlasting joy will be upon you, and your sorrow and mourning will flee away. The day of vengeance is my heart, and the year of the redeemed has come. The angel of my presence will save you from your afflictions, and I will carry you. I alone am worthy to take the book and open the seals, redeeming you from the earth. You will sing a new song that only the first fruits redeemed from the earth can learn. You are those who have followed the Lamb wherever I go. You who know your shepherd, hear my voice and follow me, no matter what the cost. You are the third part refined by fire who call out my name. I say, you are my people and you declare, I am your God. You are ready, my beloved. You are ready. Watch, wait, and pray in earnest, and I am ready to pour out my spirit like never before, and rivers of living water will pour out upon you to strengthen you and commission you as the ambassadors to my everlasting kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. Rejoice, rejoice, truth reigns and your faithfulness will be rewarded Yahushua and then there's a lot of Bible verses here let me read some of them. Daniel is 5 25 through 27 Micah 1 3 through 4 Psalms 46 6 through 7 Zechariah Zephaniah 3 8 Micah 6 13 Micah 2 3 Revelation 
11, 14, and 15. Revelation 14, 7. Psalms 79, 6. Psalms 81, 12. 1 Peter 4, 17. Psalms 83, 18. Psalms 56, 8. Zechariah 2, 13. Psalm 69, 32. Isaiah 26, 32. Isaiah 26, 20. Psalm 76, 8 through 9. Isaiah 13, 3. Psalms 94, 19. Exodus 9, 16. Psalm 78, 2. Revelation 3, 4. Revelation 3, 18. Psalms 97, 10. Psalm 84, 6 and 7. Psalms 87, 6. Psalms 97, 8. Micah 4, 7. Isaiah 51, 11. Isaiah 63, 4. Isaiah 63, 9. Revelation 5, 9. Revelation 14, 3 and 4. Zechariah 13, 8 and 9. John 4, 14. John 12, 39 and 40, John 12, 43, John 12, 48, Micah 6, 11, Nahum 1 and 2, Zephaniah 1, 7, and Revelation 22, 11. And that is all that she had there. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Today starts Yom Kippur. So this is a high holiday. And I recommend to each of you that you celebrate it as such. And go for 25 hours without eating or drinking. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Amen.